Hey and welcome back. We've all been reading about the possibility of a marker for alien life high up in the clouds of Venus. Ian Sample, the science editor of The Guardian, writes, Traces of a pungent gas that wafts through the clouds of Venus may be the emanations of aerial organisms, microbial life, but not as we know it. Astronomers detected phosphine 13 miles up in the planet's atmosphere and have failed to identify a process other than life that could account for its presence. The discovery raises the possibility that life gained a foothold on Earth's inner neighbor and remnants cling on, or a float on at least, as Venus suffered runaway global warming that made the planet hellish. For two billion years, Venus was temperate and harbored an ocean, but today a dense carbon dioxide atmosphere blankets a near waterless surface where temperatures top 450 degrees Celsius. The clouds in the sky are hardly inviting, containing droplets of 90% pure sulfuric acid. The conditions on Venus are so deeply unpleasant that many scientists believe the planet is dead. Rather than coming from floating Venusians, they suspect phosphine arises from a more mundane process. It's completely startling to say life could survive surrounded by so much sulfuric acid, said Professor Jane Greaves, an astronomer at Cardiff University, leader of the team who made the discovery. But all the geological and photochemical routes that we can think of are far too underproductive to make the phosphine we see. On Earth, phosphine gas is released by microbes in oxygen-starved environments, such as lake sediments or animals' guts. Other production routes are so extreme, inside the bellies of gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn, so, on rocky planets, phosphine is considered a marker for life. As a test run for searching for life beyond Earth, Greaves observed Venus in 2017 with the James Clark Maxwell Telescope in Hawaii, and in 2019 at the ALMA Telescope in Chile. Both revealed the signature of phosphine in the upper deck of Venus. Greaves first spotted the phosphine signal late one day in December 2018 as she was about to leave work. There wasn't anyone to talk to and I remember thinking the best way to celebrate was to make a curry. So I drove off to Sainsbury's. That's just brilliant. And here's my take on all this. I think phosphine could be a marker for life but I think we're always looking for life that looks like us. I think if we really open our eyes and we really want to find aliens, really want to find extraterrestrial life, we have to look in the odd places, things that don't occur on Earth. And just maybe this phosphine signature is the first extraterrestrial life form that we've detected. The truth is out there.